changes. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the channel. Thank you for joining me. And one of the hot trends right now, especially on Instagram and filtering over to eBay and even maybe some of the more uh, vintage-y sites, Depop and Grailed maybe, uh, and you might find them on Poshmark as well, is vintage retro t-shirts. And there's about 10 different types that you want to look for. Uh, some of these are worth really big money and some are worth not any money. So of course, there's a huge difference between actual 1980s, 1990s, as opposed to reproductions that were made in 2005 or 2010. Uh, you know, a shirt that's five or 10 years old versus a shirt that's 30 and 40 years old. Uh, there can be a huge difference between a $10 shirt and a $210 shirt, right? And so while there are 10 subject matter categories that I want you to be on the lookout for, you also have to get good at learning the difference between single stitch, which, you know, the obviously single stitch thread line there, uh, you know, the actual vintage, the old, trying to learn how to tell the tags and the years that they were created, the design style, um, you know, telling the real from the fake. There's a lot of different things to learn. So I want to go over some of them and I'm going to present to you, I'll put it up here on my screen, those 10 subject matter categories that I want to talk about, like Harley and band shirts and um, singers and all this different type of stuff, but also a little bit about, uh, you know, kind of what to look for and what sells for a lot versus what doesn't. And of course, fake stuff and reproductions are always going to be the ones that you want to filter out as opposed to the real vintage and older stuff and the real nostalgia, the things that bring us back. You know, recently uh, I've seen some Disney shirts selling for huge money. I've seen Harley Davidson shirts selling for big money. I've seen, you know, when we're talking big money, I'm talking not just the ones that I saw for one and two and 300. I'm talking about ones that sold for 500 and 1,000 and 6,000 and, and all kinds of different prices I've seen all over the internet. I've been following on Instagram and, and Facebook and inside of the groups and the live auctions and the live shows on IG and, and YouTube and everywhere. So Katie and Vicky are friends from Vegas. Uh, Katie has a fantastic store full of this stuff. She also has some good friends uh, over on Instagram. I'll try to shout out and tag them below that you can follow that have some awesome auctions for some of this stuff as well if you want to buy something for personal use. So... Without any further ado, let's go over to my tablet, to the iPad, I'll screen share, I'll show you some of this stuff, and hopefully you can keep an eye out for it at your local flea market, your garage sale, your yard sale, your estate sale. Pick some of these up cheap and sell them for a few hundred bucks. All right, so I wanna show you guys 10 types of shirts, and you won't always find all of these, of course, and you won't find the most expensive ones, but you may be able to find some similar to it, which you'll know when you're going through the stores exactly what you're looking for, and you'll be able to spot it and say, hey, that looks like it might have some value and you can at least look it up. Now, it may be a reproduction, like I said. Some of these are newer age repros that are not gonna be worth more than 10 or 15 bucks, uh, if that, and then there's some that may be worth $10,000, which I've seen, or $1,500 or $150. So you'll start getting an idea of which ones are newer, you'll be able to look at the tags, you'll be able to look at the dates, you'll be able to look at the single stitching, You'll be able to look at the age, the wear, uh, the brand on the tag. You'll be able to look at all these things and start to learn. This isn't something you're gonna get to know overnight. There are a lot of people on Instagram and social media that have spent a lot of years and a lot of time researching and learning this stuff. So you have to really put in the work. I know some of this. I probably don't know 30% of it. So um, let's get started. The obvious is Disney. Vintage Disney shirts. Disney sells no matter what, but vintage Disney shirts are super hot right now. Uh, they do very well on eBay and a lot of people selling them direct on pages like Instagram and through their social media accounts. Uh, there are Facebook groups dedicated to this. So you'll have to get out there and look for those groups, look for the Instagram hashtags and look for, you know, there's a lot of live auctions that you can get involved in. Our good friends uh, over Katie and Vicky, they do live auctions with some uh, Instagrammers that are pretty big into this. And a lot of these people make a lot of money on these shirts. So uh, here's a vintage 90s Disney Aladdin t-shirt. Uh, this is this one took a best offer at 1500. Genie is really, really popular. If you scroll down, uh, there it was for 9.99. Uh, vintage James and the Giant Peach shirt, $1,225 and ended up with 28 bids with five shipping. Uh, here's a vintage Toy Story promo shirt from Pixar. This is Buzz Lightyear, of course, uh, and it was the best offer, $949.99 plus five. Another Aladdin promo. Pretty much any promo shirts are gonna do well, which I will show you um, 
coming up uh, on another tab. Now this is pretty cool, the Vintage Tower of Terror shirt from Disney World, um, the Twilight Zone Glow in the Dark Ghost shirt. I actually rode the tw uh, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror in Disney World the first year that it was open. I wanna say I was about 10 or 11 years old, so it must have been 95 ish is when that opened maybe 94 maybe 96 sometime in the mid 90s that tower of terror opened and i had a shirt like this that was the glow in the dark one with the sparkles so do i wish i had it now i do who knows what happened to it but it would have been a little kid's a small one um a vintage disney cowboy mickey t-shirt uh vintage disney villains double-sided group with hades and scar uh, great shirt 611 dollars taken outside on a clothesline with the yard in the background you've got vintage uh, lots anything disney that's older and not reproduced is going to be worth a lot of money anything from the 90s um, there's the star tour shirt it's an all over print which we'll go over in a minute as well all kinds of cool stuff. Aladdin all over, the vintage Splash Mountain. So really look for shirts like these. It doesn't mean they're always gonna be worth hundreds of dollars, but even if you get one with like a Splash Mountain on it that isn't one of these rare expensive ones, it may still be worth 30, 40 or 50 bucks. And if you're picking it up at a thrift store or a garage sale for a dollar or two, definitely something worth grabbing. And then you can find out if you picked up a good one later. So Disney vintage shirts, promos, movies, the, the Disney parks, any of that kind of stuff is usually worth a decent amount of money, A, because it's Disney, and B, because of the nostalgia. Okay, so speaking of the movie promos, here is a couple of examples. The Fifth Element, really good movie. Uh, if you've never seen it, watch it. It was the start of Mila Jovovich, is that her name? Her career started there. Of course, um, you know, Bruce Willis in that, uh, and a lot of uh, really great scenes in there. Also, um, the comedian guy, what's his name? Is it Chris Rock was in that, I think, as well? Um, vintage James and the Giant Peach. Uh, the Dark Knight Joker scene with Heath Ledger. Of course, that's worth a lot of money. We all know Heath passed away. Bride of Chucky. All of these movies. There is our Aladdin promo as well. Um, the Dark Knight Joker. 20th Century Fox. Predator. Um, the Crow City of Angels. Another one. Uh, obviously, Brandon Lee passed away. Um, Romeo and Juliet all kinds of these these movies and Disney and, and horror films and Batman and anything like that is definitely gonna sell, so keep an eye out for those. Speaking of the horror um, movies and, and themes, I picked Friday the 13th, but of course Halloween and Jason and, and Freddy and any of these horror flicks are really good for the shirts, the content, people love them. If you ever find those Jason um, Ugly Christmas sweaters, uh, they're usually worth uh, at least 50 to 100. If not, I've seen some in the 150 to 250 range. Um, so here's a lot of Friday the 13th shirts. That particular one, the final chapter, looks uh, uh, pretty popular. There's quite a few that sold. And as we scroll down, there's quite a few more. So here's the flannel one with Jason Voorhees. That's a pretty cool shirt. So definitely look for anything horror filmed, Halloween, Jason, Friday the 13th, Freddy, um, and anything like that. I saw a Freddy versus Jason shirt sell for like 300 bucks once. So that was a pretty good one. Okay, we talked about the bands and the music on top of the movies. Uh, and of course, anything old Iron Maiden, Led Zeppelin, Metallica, Nirvana, all of the vintage 80s, 90s. Um, there's an 86 Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt, uh, $750. Um, Soundgarden. Not one I see very much. Nirvana, I see a lot. We see a lot of Queen. We see a lot of Rolling Stones. Be very, very careful with these because there are a ton of reprints. Shirts made in the 2000s, late 2000s, as recent as, you know, this year. So um, you really have to find the old ones. You need to find single stitch ones. If you don't know what single stitch is, I'm not going to do an entire video explaining it. YouTube it, Google it, you'll figure it out, you'll find it, and you'll be able to identify them better. Um, look, of course, for the tags, you know, showing dates. Look for the dates on the shirt. Look for the aging. Look for the shirts that you know are not 2010, but rather 1980 or 1990. Um, as we keep scrolling down, Radiohead is one, Megadeth, uh, Iron Maiden, Slayer, all of these different types of shirts uh, from all of these old 80s and 90s, and even back in the 70s, back to, you know, the, the Rolling Stones and back to the Beatles, 
Um, in the 60s and 70s, you don't see too many of those. You see a lot of reproductions, but if you can find them from the 70s, um, if you can find things like Nirvana from the, you know, right before Cobain is last year or two, uh, I think that was what, 93, 94, those are just super rare and really expensive. Of course, Nirvana wasn't ar around long, so there wasn't a lot of their original stuff made. Um, they weren't around as long as some of these other bands anyways. Uh, Bob Dylan, another one. So just a ton. There's a Metallica all over. Really cool shirt. 431 with the best offer. So lots of opportunity on that. But even the new age stuff can be worth a few dollars. So don't write it off. But, you know, just be careful of what you're buying and what you're paying for. All right. We talked about it in a few of these all over print. What does it mean exactly what it says? It's all over. Typically, it will wrap all the way around the shirt, just like you can see here. There's a very cool Sonic the Hedgehog all over. Look at that brick wall print with Sonic. Super cool. The fact that that shirt sold for $1,750 with 52 bids is no surprise to me. They put it in a picture frame. Pretty interesting. Anyways, the all over print. Uh, there's a vintage Cartoon Network Scooby-Doo racing t-shirt. Very, very cool $1,000. There's our Nirvana shirt from 1992. It's all over. So that would be an original. Of course, I think Kurt Cobain took his own life in 93 or 94, I could be mistaken. Um, so 92 would have been one of those shirts pretty close to the end of his run. Um, I'd have to look it up, I'd have to, I'm trying to Google it right now. It was 94, it was April 5th of 94. So anything in the 92, 93 range is gonna be really, really expensive. Um, there's a 95 Metallica. Again, Metallica, you know, it's glory days back in the 80s and 90s, so definitely something to look for as well. Okay, so number six is everyone's favorite wrestling, WWF, WWE, WCW. A lot of these are all over prints. You guys already see it. Some people call them double-sided, but you see Bret Hart's 550. Um, these won't be as high as some of those other ones, but you can see this vintage uh, 89, 90s Sting WCW shirt. Um, that's probably like a Bash at the Beach or the Surfer style one, 400 bucks. Sting was like my favorite growing up. Uh, Double-sided or all-over print Gold Dust, 375. Everybody loved the, um, the WWF, WCW, and now WWE, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold. All the ones you would expect to see on there. The Smoking Gun shirt for $300, very rare. So these are ones that sometimes are the most popular and sometimes are not because they just weren't made a lot of or didn't exist or didn't like make it you know, through those years. So there you go. Wrestling, always, always expensive. Okay, we touched on it in the other one. Number seven, Cartoon Network, also Nickelodeon shirts. You're going to see a lot of things such as like Teen Titans, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, uh, this uh, Johnny Bravo, Scooby-Doo. Of course, he was on Cartoon Network. Scooby, everyone's favorite. You'll see a lot of Scooby shirts. Um, the original Cartoon Network uh, single stitch shirt with all the characters on it, Jetsons, Flintstones, Powerpuff Girls, uh, all of those type of things, super popular. All right, anime. Now I sell a lot of these in button downs with like the Japanese and Chinese writing, the Samurai Warriors. For a lot of those button downs, I get 30, 40, 50 bucks. For a lot of the Akira and uh, manga and a lot of the anime shirts that are actual vintage 90s, 80s, uh, the Bubblegum Crisis, I've seen that one quite a few times. Uh, these shirts all in the upper hundreds, two, three, four, five hundred dollars Most of them probably down in the hundred, two hundred dollars uh, neighborhood but some of them can go for much more so all of these that over uh dragon ball z all over print um, shirt 213 with the best offer so not surprising number nine we all know harley shirts the older the better the better the graphics the more money uh the 3d ones with the actual uh you know the hogs the, the pig on it does pretty good um anyone that has women on it the ones in bathing suits that sort of thing um now here's one that has the Confederate flag on it. I'm not sure if they let that slide through, but obviously they did. Uh, the Eagles do well. Any of these 3D prints, uh, the Skull and Bones, ones with the Gators from Florida, they tend to do pretty well. Uh, there's one of our examples of women on it. Uh, the Panther, any animals, the Eagles grabbing at you, all that stuff, definitely in the hundreds. Keep an eye out for that. But regular Harley shirts with good graphics can be worth 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks as well. Finally, one you probably won't find a lot of, but the older Versace shirts are really, really good with these crazy, crazy graphics. So these aren't gonna be t-shirts, they'll be like silk shirts. They have really amazing, you can see the graphics on here. Uh, every once in a while I see one pop up locally to me or in an auction or at a thrift store um, where they have it marked 100 or 200, but 
It's not to say, you know, one of these consignment shops that marks it for 100 or 200 doesn't have a six or $700 shirt that you could grab. Now, even as we scroll down, um, you know, to some of the half price uh, from the highest in these 400 ranges, they're just super colorful. Be very careful. People, um, recre you know, reprint, recreate Versace. They fake Versace. So just learn Versace, but I didn't want to leave it off the list because it is probably the one out of Prada and Gucci and all that that is the most popular, the most wild. And a lot of these will be circa fall 91, 92, 93. Again, I would have to look it up from when um, Gianni Versace was actually um, gunned down. But uh, before he was, all of the prints that he made out were... Um, were really, really collectible and people loved them and they were expensive. They were $1,000 shirts, $1,500 shirts. And it looks like uh, 97 is when Versace was killed. So anything pre-97 is gonna be really, really, really valuable. So um, a lot of stuff came out from Versace after his death. His sister Donatella had a lot to do with that. I don't think those ones are as collectible, obviously because it wasn't actually him. So look for those pre-97 before his death. Um, shirts and if you find one and it's real you got big money on your hands okay so that's 10 really expensive shirts uh, 10 shirts that you should be able to find something of in your lifetime or at least similar you know maybe you don't find the thousand fifteen hundred dollar shirt but you can find one that's a hundred or two hundred and start stacking up these shirts and putting them in your store one at a time and you will sell them and you'll start making pretty good money now the last thing I want to do is I want to show you our friend Katie's eBay store and give you an idea of how she maintains an average sale price uh, between, I think, if I'm right, 60, 70, 80 bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, her store is called A Boutique for him. Let's go ahead and check it out. And you guys can get some good ideas from checking her store out. And while you're there, do a little shopping, buy something from her, support her, and uh, hopefully you get some ideas from checking her uh, inventory out. Let's go over and take a look at it. Okay, so here we are. Again, it's a boutique for him. She has 3,177 feedback with 100% positive. And it's not just these old vintage shirts that I just showed, showed you that are worth a ton of money. Some of these shirts can be just everyday things that are pretty cool that you wouldn't otherwise think of being worth some money. This is something that I would never know. It's a host of MACA convention 94, Clowns Are Us. This is a clown convention shirt. She has it up for $48.99. Pretty crazy. Here's a Field Hunter Digest. It's just kind of about the graphics and kind of about, there's a UCLA shirt that's really vintage, 80s, 90s, $69.99. Here's a University of Alabama Crimson Tide shirt. It's about that unique look, that unique graphics. As you scroll down, anybody can get an Alabama Crimson Tide shirt, right? But how many people have a Crimson Tide shirt with a big giant A and then the Crimson Tide, you know, roll tide roll in the corner and then the, the whole thing, you know, that's what it's about. Here's a Universal Studios Florida with the Jetsons and the Flintstones together. This is probably a 90 shirt and it's at $97.99. Here's a Santa Cruz tie-dye shirt. This is where she's gotten this eye of looking for things that are really, really different. Here's a vintage army sweater. It's just a plain army sweater, but it's from the 90s, and she's got it up for 50. Will she get that? Yeah, maybe, maybe not, but it's worth more than the normal three, you know, five dollars people think. Here's a vintage Ford Mustang with the, you know, this is the old 90s uh, style Mustangs, $48.99. Here's a Holyfield versus Holmes fight, Class of Champions, 1992 World Heavyweight Championship fight, up for $139.99. Here's an iguana shirt. Nothing crazy, but it's an all-over wraparound uh, tie-dye print iguana shirt. Check it out. She's got this thing up for $70. Bucks. So let's go ahead. People are like, well, let's see what she's really selling it for. Okay. Let's go to her solds. Here you go. Here's a Tropicana Casino shirt. She lives out in Vegas, so not surprising she got something like that. $48.99. Here's a Washington Huskies National Championship 92 shirt, 50 bucks. Here's a Dallas Cowboys. So a lot of sports. How about them Cowboys? Mickey Mouse t-shirt all over. She got $100 for it. Here comes the Sun t-shirt vintage rainbow shirt, 40 bucks. The Palm Tree. Club Rio. Uh, Woods Hole. Let's see. Bugs Bunny Basketball, $100. Here's a Marvin the Martian shirt that went for 70 uh, Sterling Marlin shirt, 35. So just getting an eye for these older shirts. Look at this humpback well shirt. She got $209.99 best offer accepted. Look at that with free shipping, free returns, but check out the, 
price for the humpback whale. Let's go ahead and see that original. Check that out. That is a cool, cool shirt. So does Katie pay a dollar for these? No, of course. She's paying up for some of these. I don't know what she paid for the humpback whale. Perhaps she'll tell me. Probably $10, $20, maybe $30. But look what she turned it into. African lion shirt, another $100 sale. Um, so you can see, you can get, just get an idea as you scroll down these shirts. Here's an Anaheim Mighty Duck shirt. 70, her average sale price is definitely in the 70s or 80s. A lot of 30 and 40s and a lot of 100s. So a Dale Earnhardt shirt. Look at all these sale prices. It's incredible. So she's really done an amazing job. And uh, kudos to Katie for building this store. And there's a lot of other successful sellers that have done it as well. And uh, this will give you an idea. Look for those amazing shirts. Look for stuff that stands out. Look for stuff that's not normal. And you can even, you know, start getting the hang of pricing shirts at $30 and $40 that you're picking up for two or three bucks at stores. So great work, Katie. Uh, we love you. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you have comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, things you want to share, shirts that you've sold, anything, please comment it below. We love to read it. Other people love to read it. And as always, I thank you for watching these videos. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, if it gave you some information and some help, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more videos coming every day. Thank you guys as always, and I'll see you next time.